Are you transferring money between checking and savings and you're wondering how do you do that properly in QuickBooks? You are in the right place if we've never met before. Hello, I'm Candace Camper. I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And today we're talking about doing transfers for desktop users. So if you're an online user, go up above or down below and we have a separate video for you. If you're a desktop user, you're in the right place. Let's jump in, grab a pen and paper. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here in your QuickBooks, it's super simple. You're gonna go under banking and you're gonna just go transfer funds. There are different ways you can do this, but this really is the easiest, simplest way. So it's the one I recommend for you. So you're just gonna go here under transfer funds and you're going to choose first, what is the date that you did the transfer on? Let's say it's the 15th. Then if you do have classes set up, you can use a class. If you're not sure what classes are, we do have a video. I'll link it up above and down below. It makes it simpler for you to be able to, if you have different um, locations or rental properties, things like that, you can use that feature. It's not part of what we're talking about today, but I will link a video so you can learn more about it. Then you're going to come here and you're going to choose where did it come from? So you're putting money into an account, but where did that money come from? Now there's an assumption that you've already set up all of your bank accounts in your chart of accounts in QuickBooks. If you haven't, I will give you a video on how to make sure you set up your bank accounts properly. It'll be up above and down below as well. So what you wanna do is set up, where did it come from? So we're gonna say bank account, and where did it go to? We're gonna say it went to the savings account. The amounts of money over here to the right are what QuickBooks says you have as a balance. If you are current on your data entry, then those should be pretty accurate. If they're off and you're current on your data entry, then you're gonna to wanna to check out learning how to clean up your mistakes, okay? I'll put some information about that below. But if it is current, awesome, good job. Don't forget to always be reconciling your bank accounts as well so you can find if you have any mistakes and get them cleaned up as you go because before tax time, you always wanna make sure these are current, okay? So you're gonna choose where did it come from, where did it go to, super simple. You can check mark this if it was an online transfer or you can uncheck it. Then you're gonna come over here and you're going to choose to add a memo. So you could say transfer funds, monthly transfer, whatever it is, and you're going to add the amount. So let's say it's $200, you're gonna put $200 in there. Then you're going to hit save and close. If you're done and you have no other transfers you need to do, you can always click save and new if you have another one that you wanna enter or you can clear it if you have any mistakes. Up here at the top, you can click between transfers. You can click save. You can look at the journal so you can see the debits and the credits. And if you have an attachment where you made the transfer, you did a screenshot and you wanna include it, you can choose to attach it here as well. Then you're gonna click save and close. It's going to say you transferred money between two accounts, um, but the online fund transfer checkbox is not selected. This means that you transfer will occur only in your company file. You should continue only if you already transfer the money. So what that means is if you do not select this little online transfer, it means that you transferred it outside of QuickBooks. You wrote a check, you went into your bank and you did it automatically, okay? So if you click okay, it's going to only transfer it within QuickBooks, which is what we're doing in this example. We're not physically moving the money, we're just adding that transaction to QuickBooks, okay? So now when you go over to your register and say you click on your savings, you will see the $200 transfer there. Or you can go look at your checking account. So if you just go to register and you click on your checking, you'll also see it. Remember, you only need to enter the transaction once. It will impact both accounts, that's key. Okay. Now, if you are using bank feeds and you come over here under bank fee banking and then bank feeds, if you already entered it, you would just be matching it. So if you like come in here and you click, you have a little transaction list, then you would just be matching your transactions into here if, if they come through. Now, in this example, our December transactions haven't downloaded yet, so they aren't in here but you'll have prior transactions. You'll see here's a transfer for 5,000 from a previous one. You can click on it and you can click approve, which just means you agree that that, that, that is what happened, that you've already entered into QuickBooks and you've just approving it, okay? You can also ignore it, but that's learning more about bank feeds themselves. Just know 
if you've already entered it into QuickBooks and you see it come through your bank feed, you're going to be approving it saying, yes, that is accurate. If everything looks good, you always want to look through your transactions first. So that's how easy it can be to do a transfer. You can actually use the transfer feature. Let me know if there, if you had any ahas, if you've ever used this feature before, or if you've been going in and recording the deposit in the deposit screen or in the check register. And do you like this feature better? Let me know below. What are you going to be using? And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And if you want to get these tips and tricks in your inbox every single week, so you don't miss them, go up above or down below and we'll send them directly to you. And if watching this video made you think, Ooh, there's so much more to QuickBooks that you want to learn. You want to learn all areas. I'd recommend checking out our customizing QuickBooks workshop where you can learn more about different programs and trainings that we have available. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this tip. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.